These snow showers have been on and off this evening, and they're still on in many cases, especially as you get east of Pittsburgh. This is where we have the steadiest of the snows right now, uh, centered right over Westmoreland County, but some of the heaviest of the snow is actually south. Now, as you look up north of Pittsburgh, North Hills, up to about uh, Ross, uh, Wexford, some steady snows there along 279, but for the most part, it's not really causing any major issues. It's making things wet especially roadways, and keep in mind if it's untreated, it could become slick with temperatures falling just below freezing tonight. Steadier snow showers out towards Ligonier, uh, Burrow, up towards Kiskey into Greensburg, and that's some uh, pretty heavy snow as you get along 68 here, northern parts of Garrett County, northern parts of Preston County, right up towards Morgantown, the east side of Morgantown there. So all this is continuing to cycle through, but you're going to notice the back edges of this are starting to break up a little bit, which is a sign that this is going to start to come to an end for Pittsburgh. It's just going to take a little longer to get out of the ridges, but uh, when it comes down to it tonight, one to three inches, not out of the question for those higher elevations. Pittsburgh's looking at a coating or less one to two inches as you get up north towards I-80. And Futurecast here shows us how this works out. By the time we get to 7 a.m., still just a bit of a lake effect band trying to hang on. And then some upslope as those winds go up the ridges. They help produce some of the snow. Still trying to hang on, but this is going to be mainly flurries early tomorrow. They're out of here real quick. Then we see some clouds left over. Those start to break up for the afternoon, so we see some peaks of sunshine. Better looking afternoon, still a chilly day all around. Now into Friday, clouds return. And later we'll see a few showers and even a few snowflakes trying to mix in. This is not going to be widespread. This is going to be more broken up across the area. So some areas are going to end up with a dry Friday. And then I think we all end up with a dry weekend. There's some of the snow showers still going on as we look from Gateway Center across the Allegheny. There's a Fort Duquesne bridge for reference. So some light snows here in Pittsburgh. Currently we have 33 degrees, feels like 22. So wind chilly thanks to those sustained winds, 15 to 20 miles per hour out of the west. Actual temperatures low to mid 30s in most cases. It feels more like the 20s and it's going to be this way even at the bus stops in the morning. Just know it's going to be a cold start to your Thursday. 30 tonight, scattered snow, winds out of the west 15 to 25 miles per hour. And then tomorrow still a breezy day, but after some morning clouds, we'll see some peaks of sunshine breaking out for the afternoon. So it starts to look a little better. Now through the day, you can see once we get to two, three o'clock, that's where we start to break into those uh, peaks of sunshine across the area. Now through the next several days, we go from some PM sun tomorrow to areas of rain and snow. Not a complete washout Friday, but uh, we're going to have a little system coming through here trying to provide a little additional precipitation back into some sunshine on Saturday. While the clouds increase on Sunday, so do the temperatures and they stay that way into Monday. But Tuesday, falling temperatures by the time we get close to midnight Wednesday morning, 27 degrees. That's the high for the day. It is going to be a cold day for the middle of the week and that cold is going to take us through the end of the week. And remember, with all these ups and downs and rain and snow, the KDK weather app is a great tool to have this time of year. It lets you know if there's any advisories as an interactive radar hour by hour and daily forecast. It's all free too. All you have to do is search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.